in his projects. Like, I've worked with a lot of artists, and I'd yeah. say he was the most hands-on as far as business of any other artist I ever knew. Very, you know, he ch- I don't know any other artist that would show up to marketing meetings and all this. It, he wanted to know everything that was going on, and he really did listen. Uh, he wanted, he would, uh, he wasn't one of these people that was like, I'm going to control everything. You know, he let people come up with ideas and he never tried to mi- ma- micromanage people. Uh, well, I think part of it was he trusted the people that were working with him, you know. So, you know, it wasn't like he felt, you know, he had to tell people what to do, you know. He he knew that the people around him knew what they were doing, you know. And, uh, you know, it was just really great, uh, you know. He was also, he did care about people. Um, he was very charitable. He gave a lot of money to charity and uh, helping people, uh, even if people didn't know about it. You know, he wasn't one of these people that would, like, give a lot of money to something and then call the press, you know, about it. You know, he did a lot of things on the DL to help people. And that that's something I think his fans would really find interesting because – it shows you that side of him where he cared. Like, I've seen uh, uh, or heard stories, you know, that he would do a lot with the Make-A-Wish Foundation with, you know, kids who were terminal. Um, yeah. You know, that takes a, a lot of strength and courage to be able to do that because you know these kids who want to spend their uh, one of their last days with you, they're going to be gone soon. Um, right. Did he, did, that ever, did he ever show signs of that ever affecting him? You know, no, I think the, he wanted other people to do it, too. I mean, I think he wanted, uh, you know, other people to help out in these causes, too, uh, and make people aware of them, you know. And it's funny because, you know, people would say, this is back in the day, keep in mind, everybody, uh, you know, hip-hop wasn't the big uh, main Dream, you know, commercialized thing it is now, uh, particularly NWA and Easy, no less. But, you know, people had this, uh, a lot of people had this stereotype about so-called quote-unquote gangster rappers. And, you know, Eric was out doing a lot of good stuff for people, you know. Uh, it wasn't like, you know, he was just some thug or something like that. You know, he... He really was community minded, you know. Uh keep in Take mind care. where he grew up, you know. I mean he grew up in Compton and you know, there was a lot he wanted to change, you know, in a positive way. And uh but one of his causes was terminal kids. Oh. You take him to like uh theme parks and things like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He'd spend money on him, too. Yeah. And uh, I think he liked that because it was like he wasn't, like, just feeling sorry for some kid that was going to die kind of thing. You know, he'd, you know, uh, spend time with that kid, make the kid feel important. You know, take them around, have a good time with them, and all that kind of thing. So, uh, uh, and I think that really means a lot to a kid instead of just, you know, oh, here's a check for some, you know, charity. You know, to actually make it personal. Yeah. Where you're affecting somebody's life on a deeper level, too, besides, you know, uh, contributing. Yeah. Give them an experience that they'll never forget, and um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I've seen like pictures of him and uh, he dressed as a cowboy, you know, just playing, playing with the kids. Um, yeah, just doing he, all kinds um, of different fun things. Yeah, he had a kid he visited in Chicago all the time, and did stuff with. That oh, he became uh, pretty good friends with him. Yeah, they they passed 
he passed away. You know, but yeah, Eric saw this kid a lot. Mm. Yeah, I imagine uh, they they were real close. So it had to have been horrible. Um, did he ever bring any, yeah. any uh, kids up to to the offices at Ruthless? Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, like, comment, share. Also, go over to UGSForLife.com, download the entire archive, and check out new episodes on Apple Podcasts and Blog Talk Radio.